we got another company going public via a SPAC merger. This time, a company you might know well. That would be DNA Sequencing Company, 23andMe, making its debut today. And shares hitting a session high, now up 10% in that debut after finalizing the deal to go public via a SPAC merger with Richard Branson's SPAC, Virgin Acquisition Corp. And for more on the plans for the company to uh, ride this way we're seeing right now, I want to bring on the CEO of 23andMe, Ann Wojcicki, joins us right now alongside Yahoo Finance's Brian Sazi. Uh, and Ann, congrats on the, on the debut. We don't get to celebrate a lot of these things, but always fun to have the CEOs on for their big day. Talk to me about uh, what it's like to now come through this deal and what you're seeing shape up for your guys' uh, quarters to come here. Listen, it's it's super exciting. Um, I had I've always run this company, not necessarily expecting that we were going to be a public company, and it certainly was never the goal. The goal has always been really about how, what's the impact to the customer, the end person, and how do you really make personalized medicine and personalized healthcare a reality. So it's it's a phenomenal day. Um, I love actually being able to you know be a public company because we do have a strong consumer brand and it's really about engaging our customers more and more. So being a pump, public company just gives us a platform to engage even more and to have a bigger impact. And you have you come from the the world of Wall Street. How will that experience help you in your public company journey? Uh, well, you know, it's it's fun. Like for one, it's it's it was great during the the you know the the last few months of in, uh, re-engaging with investors and a lot of old friends that I've known. Um, I think you know the most important thing for me as like now as CEO here is is focusing on the long run and the long term vision. So I really think about the next five to ten years and what is that ultimate goal for the company and how do you really have that kind of impact to really transform. An industry, which is healthcare and, and drug discovery. So I'm very cognizant that Wall Street definitely has a shorter time frame. And I think part of what I'm excited about is again re-engaging. I love speaking with my investor friends and re-engaging and um, understanding that there's their short-term questions and, and I'm absolutely focused on the long-term vision. Where do you think the company is in 10 years? Well, if I think on 2003, Francis Collins came out and talked about how genetics was going to transform how we, you know, predict, prevent, and treat all human disease. And in some ways, like, that's exactly what we're executing on. We're putting genetics in the, in the hands of people so that they can really understand their human genome and they can engage in research. They can follow along as we're figuring out what the genome means and what it means for them. So people are absolutely benefiting today from information about their own genome. And long-term, I'm really excited about the idea of a, you know, essentially crowdsourced platform fueling drug discovery. And how great will it be one day to come back here and say that my customers who have engaged and opted into research have now cured some number of diseases. And that's something that you've talked a lot about, being able to use the data that 23andMe has to be able to accelerate some of the R&D. You had a study that just came out on COVID-19 as well. Uh, when you look ahead um, to some of your partner companies, what's in the pipeline for you that you think 23andMe can really help accelerate in terms of development as well as research? What's interesting that we do that I think a lot of people don't understand is we do research really at scale. Like we're not a specific disease company. We're not just psoriasis or cancer or Parkinson's. We look broadly across the human genome and then we follow the data. So we look at all of the, you know, over 11 million customers, over 80% of them have opted into research billions of data points on, on in, in, in the database. So we use all of that to make discoveries. We have over 200 publications that have come out. We're all about contributing back to the research world, but we follow some of those discoveries to see, can you actually turn that into a therapeutic program? So that's where, you know, again, the power of our customers being able to really have an impact on basic science discovery, as well as the whole drug discovery world. Yeah, let's talk about the shift in what 23andMe is, too, because that's also interesting, kind of shifting from a DNA sequencing company, as people may have known it, to figure out, all right, who am I related to, to now kind of the health aspects and really leaning into that. You guys showed a slowdown of growth in terms of revenue in the last fiscal year relative to the year before that. I mean, how hard is it maybe to shift uh, the image of 23andMe from, from one of what it was before to kind of the health side now? And what are you expecting to see and maybe converting prior customers to really lean into that to drive growth? Well, we never, what was interesting when we started the company, it was always about a holistic view of ancestry and health. And if you even think about our name, 
it was particularly, it was not just a health company. It's not an ancestry company. We're very different in that way. So we, we absolutely leaned into the ancestry opportunity when everyone was sort of thinking about what is my identity? Where am I from in the world? How am I connected to other people? And it was a huge opportunity to actually get people involved and just give them a taste of what does your genetics mean? A lot of people, if you just sit there in, in, in a mall one day and just listen, the number of times you'll hear people talk about DNA or their ancestry is, is fascinating, but yet people don't really understand exactly what that's gonna mean in their health. And so that's what we are defining for people. What truly is a personalized healthcare experience for them? So people understand ancestry and we rush to definitely when people were interested in it, like really put in the marketing dollars to, to have people join 23andMe. And then we did slow down specifically with this idea saying, we're going to pivot. We're gonna spend the time really helping people understand what do you do with your health information and how do we actually really you know, educate the world about what that experience is gonna be. To that end, and you do have a partnership, I believe, with GlaxoSmithKline. Struck it, I think, in 2018 to develop drugs based on data that you do, in fact, get. When would that yeah. first product be coming out? Well, we have our first program already in humans. So that's something that that GSK is leading. CD96 it is a um, it's a phenomenal. It's a, again, it's an immune oncology program that is in humans now, and they will continue to update um, as as data comes out on that. We have over forty programs, um, you know, underway in research, and um, you know, we have our own program that we'll be updating you on um, soon. When it comes to the subscribers you're talking about, too, on the health side, uh, what kind of growth have you seen there? It looked like as of January, you had a little over 83,000 subscribers uh, to that. I mean, what is the expectation there as you build that site out, uh, yeah, maybe for the rest of the year? Yeah, what we what we expected um, when we when we originally launched our subscription product, we launched it in part because we had surveyed our customers to ask them about really what, what do they want next from 23andMe? And over 70% of them were saying, over 75% said that they were actually trying to change their lifestyle and do more. And we realized our customers wanted more from 23andMe. So the first thing that we're doing with our subscription product that now has over 125,000 subscribers, that was the last update we gave. So the first thing we're doing is we're giving additional content. So, you know, some of our polygenic risk score reports on heart disease, on pharmacogenetics, all of that now is part of the subscription product. So in the future, we absolutely think more and more about how do we you know, really help people understand the information that they have and then use that in their life for true personalized healthcare. And is that part of a physician consult? Is that part of you know, additional blood testing, um, you know, pharmacogenetics, actually getting really the right medication? So all of those types of things are areas that we're exploring right now. Exciting times and exciting to be now a publicly traded company there as you see shares in the green. And Wojcicki, always love chatting with you. The 23andMe CEO alongside Yahoo Finance's Brian Sazi. Uh, congrats again on the debut.